Hello everyone, today I've just got a another quick share for you um, and it's a it's an altered Barbie doll horse or a horse the size um, that would go for a Barbie type doll and I've made it into a carousel horse there's the it's a bit hard to say see but I will put some pictures in for you which will make it easier because these sorts of things are not that easy to film. Um, I was inspired by Krista, I think it is. I will put a link to her channel in the description box below. And she alters horses. She finds toy horses and she, you know, decorates them and does them up. And I thought, what a lovely idea. And I found a couple and I thought I'd have a go. I, I needed something... Um, to put on top of a cupboard so I didn't want anything particularly bright and colourful in the spot that it was going so I, I just kind of whitewashed one actually. Um, I did take photos of the process of making the horse. Um, I didn't film it simply because I did most of it in my kitchen and it just it wasn't you know the sort of thing I could film. But this is the finished result. It is a plastic um, Barbie doll horse. It's sat on a candlestick and this part here some of you may recall I found some weaving spindles quite some time ago. I did file the end a little bit rounder and I've used that as the uh, carousel pole where they hold on to. Um, now I didn't, like I said, I didn't want it over elaborate, but you could wrap some beading around here if you want, or decorate this part if you want, but I kind of wanted mine looking a little bit plain, um, and I may, I may change the tail on it. I need to live with it just for a little while um, to see if it needs a bigger, a bigger tail on it. Um, and if it does, I'll get a, a tassel, a thick tassel or something and, and put that on instead of this. But I just need to live with it a little bit first. Um, because it's not actually, the way it's positioned, you don't actually see the tail a lot anyway. But that was a macrame belt I used for the tail and the, the mane down the back of the neck there. So anyway, I'll put a little slideshow of the photos I took while I was doing it, just in case you're interested how it was done. And if not, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope everybody's well. It's been... July was so busy. Incredibly busy. I'm so glad it's August right now because... <laughs> because July was just far too, there was too much going on in July and I just feel, ugh. Um, but I have been, I have been watching videos and I have been making things, I just haven't had a, a real chance to film a lot of things. So, okay, that's enough of my explanations and I hope you are all keeping well and take care. Bye.